How are you? Good afternoon, Bright. How are you? Good afternoon, Teacher Tate. Good afternoon, iPhone. What are you eating? I'm Jelly? People. Ah, I see. That's nice. Have you guys Can had eat? lunch? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Pramod. Afternoon. Afternoon, guys. How are you? How are you? How are you? Oh, right. Okay. Um, Alright. We want to Good afternoon, see. afternoon, teacher. Afternoon, Oka. How are you, Miran? How are you? And uh, nice. That's nice. All right, guys. While you still are waiting for others, last week we talked about James, right? That. And we say gems are everywhere. But pages. But pages. Today is page 89. Today we are starting at page 89. We are starting at page 89. We said last week, we said last week, gems are everywhere and they make us sick. Right? So we want to look at this song. What did they, look at what the boy did when you were sick. You went to his parents and his parents gave you medication, right? That's what we want to do today. Today we want to talk about medicine. Medicine. And what do we do when we are sick? So while it's we're waiting for others, let's see this song. <gasps> My little babe, I not see. Teacher, teacher, number. You are not. Teacher, number. Page eighty nine. It's <laughs> Your nose is running, Daddy can tell. Rest with the baby, I'll care for you. You'll get well soon, I'll make sure you do. My Coffee, mommy can tell. Rest, little baby, I'll care for you. You'll get well soon, I'll make sure you <laughs> Have a cold, oh daddy can tell. Rest, little baby, I'll care for you. You'll 
get well soon, I'll make sure you do.
mosquitoes, they spread a disease called malaria. They spread a disease called malaria and it can cause you fever and cold, right? And flies, house flies, those ones that come when you leave your noodles open, when you leave your cake open or your yogurt open, those ones that will come flying and saying, that one, those ones are called the house flies, house flies. All right, what happens with pests? What happens with pests? If we do not cover our food, house flies may carry germs from dirty places like the garbage bin to our food, okay? So if we do not close our food, let's say Miran is eating and then when he is full, he doesn't finish his food, he doesn't close it, the flies can come and spread germs to his food, right? Where does the germs come from? From dirty places because flies, they'll be flying, right? That's why they are called house flies. They'll be flying, 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 going everywhere, right? So sometimes they go to dirty places and when they go to dirty places, they come with gems in our food and our food will become contaminated or it will become poisonous for us to eat. All right, when we become sick, if we will become sick if we eat the contaminated food. Let's look at this boy here. Let's look at this boy. Can anybody tell me what do you think happened to this boy? What do you think happened? What does the picture show? What does the picture show happened to this boy? What happened to this boy? What happened? iPhone, do you want to try? What do you think happened to this boy? What do you think happened? What do you think happened? We can see that the boy is eating, right? There is his food, maybe the pie, the bread, right? And Wallace is eating, there are flies, there are house flies, there are house flies on his food. And we see in the next picture, the boy is sitting, he's sitting where? He's sitting in the bathroom and it looks like he's touching his stomach, he's touching his tummy which means that his tummy is aching him, right? He is having a stomach ache, stomach ache and diarrhea, and diarrhea. So we can see that we must never leave our food open or allow flies to come to our food. It will contaminate and we become sick, right? You become sick, so always, always make sure you avoid that. Okay, let's move on. Let's see the other type of pests. Right, what do we have next? We have mosquitoes. You guys, do you know mosquitoes? Not Chanon, not Chanon. Good morning, teacher. Ah, how are you? Good afternoon, Kendo. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. All right, guys, do you know what is called mosquitoes? Who knows a mosquito? Who knows a mosquito? Oh, guys, a mosquito. Do we know what a mosquito is? Mosquito. Guys, do Alka, do you know what a mosquito is? You 
Do you know a mosquito? Picture a. Uh huh. Mosquito. And I am C. All right. I was saying, do you know a mosquito? Yes or no? All right. A mosquito is a very, very small pest. It's one of the very smallest pests. The one in the book is actually big. It looks bigger, but in reality, it's very, writing very small. Writing one page yet. Teacher, writing one page yet. We are not writing yet, Auka. Can you please listen? Yes, we are on page, right now we are on page 90. Go on page 90. All right, we are going to write very, very soon. And we are not going to write. Auka. Auka, what do you want to do your own things? We are, we are on page 90. We will do writing together, okay? Don't worry, I'll give you time to write. I'll give you time to write. All right, how do mosquitoes spread diseases? After mosquitoes suck the blood from infected people, what does that mean? It means that when mosquitoes suck the blood from someone who is sick already, James will be passed from that other person to the healthy person. For example, the baby and the mother. Somebody is making noise and no thank you, no thank you. All right, let's continue. So I was saying mosquitoes, they spread James or diseases when they suck blood from someone who is not feeling well to someone who is healthy, to someone who is healthy. And if that person is bitten by the mosquito, they will become sick. All right, let's look at the picture in your book. Let's look at the picture. What do we see in the picture? You see this guy, right? You see this boy, he seems like he's feeling cold. He, he has a yellow blanket. He has a yellow blanket. He is not feeling well. He has fever. He has fever. And we can see that a mosquito, a mosquito has beaten him. And it goes to this girl. The girl is feeling well, right? But after the mosquito has beaten her, we can see that here the girl is also, he, she's also feeling cold. She also has a fever from the mosquito. So we can see that mosquitoes, they carry germs and disease from one person to the other, right? That's how pests spread diseases. All right, these people will be infected with the disease and they will become sick. All right, let's look at the, here the picture. The, the picture shows a boy that is sick, a boy that is sick. Any questions? Do we have any questions about pests? and how they spread diseases. Miran, Miran, any question? No, no. No question. Alma Pao, do you have any question? Alma Pao, any question? No. No question. All right, guys, if you have understood, that is wonderful. Let's move on to page 91. Let's move on to page 91. Page 91 says medicine, medicine. All right, when we get sick, we need medicine, just like that baby in the song. When the baby was sick, she was given what? She was given medicine by the father, right? Yes, Kusu, this is page 91. 
This book is writing or not writing? Tisha, this book. Ah, uh, uh, this book, not writing. We are not writing. We will do exercise okay. together. Okay. Medicine, medicine. Medicine is something that we use when we are not feeling well. So anything that you use when you're not feeling well in order to get better, we call it medicine. We call it medicine. There are many types of medicines, right? There are so, so many types of medicines. Different medicines are used to treat different types of diseases. So we have pills like these ones in the picture. We have these ones. We have these ones. These are called pills. This is called an injection. And these are syrups, right? We have syrups. It's like a liquid that you would drink. For example, when you're coughing, that liquid is called syrup, right? So that's another form of medicine. Or sometimes the doctor may give you an injection, right? An injection when you're not feeling well, sometimes you are given pills, right? You take your pills and your water and you take your medicine. All right, uh, let's see the picture here. The picture here shows a boy and a doctor and the mother, right? We take medicine when we are unwell. The doctor will give us the right medicine. So when we are not well, we take the right medicine and it is the doctor that will give us the medicine. So we don't take medicine when we are just feeling like it or when we see our medicine from our parents in the house, we must not touch it, but we must ask our parents or the doctor for the right medicine if you are not feeling well. All right. We should take our medicine correctly. If we follow the instructions of the doctor, we will get well soon. So guys, what happens when we go to hospitals? Has anybody gone to a hospital before? Anybody? Anyone who has gone to a hospital before? Let me see. Who is there? Java? Have you ever gone to the hospital before? No. No. I go. No. I go to the hospital. Oh, so that is yes. All right. All right. Java has been to a hospital before. And at the hospital, you will see that there are doctors and there are nurses, right? And they will I go to the hospital oh, three times. Oh, three times. Oh, all right, all right, all right. She has gone to the hospital before three times, right? Okay, so we go to the hospital when we are unwell. We are unwell, the doctor will give us the right medicine and we will be well. All right, that is good, that's good. Right, let's move on, let's move on. How do we take this medicine? We must always check with our parents before we take any medicine. Please guys, listen to me. We must always check with our parents or our big sisters or our big brothers before we take any medicine, all right? Always, always remember that. Look at the pictures. We can see that the girl here is taking medicine that there is the mother, which is a good thing, right? The mother is there, which is good. Let's look at the second picture. Oh, what is this boy doing? What? What is he doing? What do you think the boy is doing, guys? What do you think he's doing? This one on the second picture, what do you think he's doing? This one. What do you think? Anybody want to try Miran? What do you think the boy is doing? This one. Playing medicine. 
thank you so much. He is playing with medicine. Is that good? Should we play with medicine? Anybody else? Should we play with medicine? Ah, uh, let me see who is there. I know we are tired and it's hot. All right, so let's just keep alive. iPhone, what do you think? Do you think it's good to play with medicine? No. Yes. No, why? Why is it not good to play with medicine? Why? Because medicine can be dangerous as well. That is why if you take too much medicine, you, you can die, all right? Someone can die or you can get quest. Ah. So the doctor will tell you, all right, Java, take these pills. They are one, two, three. Every day, take one pill, right? And then when you get home, Java takes all the pills one day. What do you think will happen? Java can start to feel much worse. She can start to vomit. She can start to feel more heat. She can start to feel more cold because she has taken the wrong way, right? It may be the right medicine, but in a wrong way, right? Okay, so the boy here, he is playing with medicine and it is wrong. It is wrong to play with medicine. Okay, let's see the next picture. The next picture, we can see a girl and she's big, being given medicine, but she's shaking her head. She's saying, no, 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 no. Why? Ah, we do not accept medicine from strangers or people we do not know very well, right, guys? Never, 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 iPhone, our power, all of you guys, Never, never accept medicine from someone that you do not know, all right? Don't accept medicine from strangers. Always accept medicine from your parents or from someone that you know, okay? All right, do we have any question about medicine? Any questions about medicine? Any question? about medicine no questions all right if there are no questions let's move on let's move on we have our small exercise that we want to do together we have our small exercise that we want to do together and the exercise is quite a few questions right so the exercise exercise fun right it's fun guys one, the first question, number one, it says true or false. So when it is true, we are going to tick. If it's false, we are going to... Two pages or two pages? Two pages, page 93 and page 94. So we are right now, we are on page 93. We are on page 93. Are we all there? Three. Yes, 93, 94. And then we are done for today. After that, we will be done for the day. Okay, guys. All right. Then I found okay. yes, two pages. Okay. All right. Number one, the first way. Yeah, guys, I want us all of us to participate. All of us to participate. All right. Gems are found all around us. Is it true or false? We are going to raise our hand. We say, teacher, teacher, can I try? Teacher, teacher, can I try? Right? No one is going to shout answers. We are going to say, teacher, can I try? The first question is, can I try? Yes, you can try. Two. Two. Yes. Thank you so much. That was Miran. Thank you so much. Gems are found all around us. It is very, very true. Why last week we said gems are found everywhere. Gems are found everywhere. 
that is true. Mm -hmm. So the first one, you just go on that box and then you tick. Very, very easy, right? Very, very easy, you tick. Mm. Nationon, Nationon, you can oh, answer no. number two. Gems only live inside mm. our bodies. Is it true? So, false, mm. yes, it's false. It's saying gems only live inside our bodies. That is false. Gems also live outside. They can also live in our bodies, but they can also live outside our bodies in the garbage, in the bin, in the road, in the car. It's true, number one, two or four. Number one is true. Gems are found all around us. It's true, right? True. Number two, it's false. So we are going to just cross. We are just going it's to cross. Number, two. number, two. number three it's says gems enter our body through our mouth, eyes, and nose. Is it true or false, Alka? Number true three is uh -huh. true. Number three true. is true. Thank you. Number three is number three, true. Three. Yes, it's true. <laughs> James enter our bodies through our mouth, our eyes, and our nose. How? Our mouth, when we eat contaminated food, James can enter our bodies, our eyes, our eyes as well. And our nose, when we sneeze something, when we sneeze something, James can enter us. Okay, all right. Uh, let me see who is there next. All right, I want to see everyone who is in class so that I'll know, I will not leave anybody. No, 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 thank you. No, no, thank you. We said what, Tita, Tita, can I try, right? Uh -huh. pao, number four. Cough, so throat, cold, and flu are caused by gems. Cough, so throat, cold, and flu are caused by gems. Is it true or false? Angapau. 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 Is it true or false? Cough. Oh, 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 oh. Right? And cold and flu are caused by gems. Is it true or false? True. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anga Power. This is true. It is very, very true. When we cough or have a flu, we know that number it is four a is number true. Five. Yes, it's true. Number five, wash your hands with soap and water before, before using the toilet, right? Is this true or false? False. False, false. Number five, no. Number five is false. Number four is true. Number five is false. Thank you so much. Wash your hands with soap, water before using the toilet. It's false. It's false. Why? We wash our hands with soap and clean water after using the toilet. After using the toilet. Thank you. All right, number six, he says, we should cover our mouth when we cough or sneeze. Is it true or false? Uh, let me see who is there. Uh, Kunsu, Kunsu, number six. Kunsu, are you there? Number six. Oh, you want to try number seven? Number seven, me. Oh, all right. You will try when we get. All right, iPhone, you can try number six. When, when sh should we should cover our mouth when we cough or sneeze? True or false? Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, yes. 
six is what? Wait, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And we should cover our mouth when we cough or sneeze. Um, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which one? Can you point your mouth at it? I don't know. Uh, 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 I don't know. Okay, I tried number six. It? What is that? Oh, all right, all right, we, all right. We skipped another one. You are right, iPhone. Number six is when sick people true, true, cough sneeze. True, true. Uh, yes, it's true. Number six is true. Number seven, yes, true. iPhone. Yes, iPhone. Number seven. One, we, two, three, four, five. We should five. cover our mouth with a cough or sneeze. True, true. Yes, that is true. true. So number six and seven. They are both true, true, right? Number eight, house flies and mosquitoes spread germs and diseases. Is it true or false? True, true. It is true. It is true. true. House flies and mosquitoes, this is what we did today, right? They spread germs and true. diseases. That is true, so we tick, we tick. I hope everybody, you are following up. I hope everyone is writing the correct answers. All right, I want to see your answers in the line now, Bob. Everyone. Hey. All right, number nine. Okay. When we get Bruce, we place what? a cold peg directly on our skin. Is it true or false, Java? No. Java. Okay. Yeah. Number nine. Number nine. When we get a bruise, right? Yes. We place a cold oh. pack directly on our skin. I think true. You think true? You think no. true? No, it's five. Um, if you look at page, uh, the answer is on, we did it last week. We did it last week. All right. The, the answer for that is I on page. If I can fall. Number Ten. nine, fall. Yeah, it's false. Page uh, 18, let me see, 86. If you look at page 86, Java, that's where we have the answer for bruises, right? Uh, whenever you get a bruise, you must take a cold peg and then you put something else between your skin. You don't put it directly on your skin because your skin will be damaged. So it is false. Oh, oh, number nine. Number 10, we take medicine when we are well. Is that true or false? We take medicine. False? It's false. Thank you. It is very, very false. We take medicine when we are unwell. When we are unwell, that's when we take medicine. All right. Number 11, number 11, number 11. Teacher, num, num, number, teacher, num, number nine is two or four. Number, number, number 10, number, number 10, we, we take medicine when we are well. Number it's nine false. is F. False. Yes, false. Number 11, the last one. We must always check with our parents before we take any medicine. Teacher, number 10, two or four? It's false. Number 10, two. Number 10, four, two? Yes, yes, it's false. We only take medicine when we are unwell. True. Number 11 yes. is T, T, two. Yes, number 11. The last one, it is 
true. We must always check with our parents before we take any medicine. The last one, it is true. All right, guys, 